ten nine eight seven six five four three two one ignition and lift off of the Falcon Nine. Go SpaceX. Go NROL one forty five. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 35 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. In case you're just joining us, this is the NROL 145 nominal for the National Reconnaissance Office. We just had an on-time liftoff today Falcon at, 9 is supersonic. at 529 a.m. Pacific Time. Coming up next, the vehicle will be passing through max Q, which is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. Good call out there for Max Q, which again is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic stress. Coming up next, we have several events happening in quick succession, starting with MECO, followed by stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Followed by this... Impact chill. The MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. SES-1 will last several minutes, propelling the second stage and payload to orbit. In addition to these major events, the fairing halves will separate about 30 seconds after SES-1. So keep an eye out for all of those events coming up in about 30 seconds. And as a reminder, we will not have any views of, of the Falcon 9 second stage or the payload at the request of our customer. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And a good series of back-to-back callouts there, which again were MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Coming up shortly, we should hear a callout for fairing separation, but as a reminder, we will not be showing it on screen. Fairing separation confirmed. Good call out there. We are currently at T plus three minutes into today's mission. Now the next major milestones coming up in about three minutes from now will be entry burn of the Falcon 9 booster as it continues its journey towards drone ship of course I still love you stationed in the Pacific Ocean. To start the entry burn we will relight three M1D engines which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down the vehicle to reduce to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. Nominal trajectories. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing, will be performing the upcoming entry burn for its 12th time today. 
During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but it's still moving really fast. And this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. And with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. We should be hearing the call out for entry burn in just about 20 seconds from now. Stage one entry burn startup. Good call out there for entry burn startup. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there you heard the call out for the completion of Falcon 9, of the Falcon 9 first stage's entry burn. Also in the background, we have a great view of the sunrise. And coming up next will be the first stage landing burn. Stage one FTS is saved. Which should start in about under a minute from Normal now. Normal trajectories. Stage one, transonic. Stage two, FTS is saved. Coming up in the next 10 seconds, we will have the landing burn of the first stage, which is where engine nine will relight. And the landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster used to reduce the remaining Stage speed. one, landing burn of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing on our venture. Stage 2, terminal guidance. We are now waiting for Falcon 9 to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you, stationed in the Pacific. Stage 1, landing, would like to deploy. Landing confirmed. And there you heard the call out for the successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. This was the 12th launch and landing for this first stage.